Hello students, so today we'll try to understand one of the beautiful poem written by Robert Frost, The Road Not Taken. So first let's see the contents. This PPT includes poem The Road Not Taken, about the poet, about the poem, stanza-wise explanation of the poem, summary, theme, and the glossary. So now first, I'll read out the poem. You please listen very carefully. Two roads diverge in a yellow wood, and sorry, I could not travel both and be one traveller long as stood and look down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear though as for that the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves, no stave had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads unto way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a shy, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverge in a wood and I. I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the differences by Robert Frost. So now, let's know about the boy Robert Frost. Robert Frost, the full name is Robert Lee Frost. He was an American poet. He is highly regarded for his realistic depictions of rural life. A popular and often quoted poet, Frost was honored frequently during his lifetime. His work frequently employed themes from the early 90s rural life in New So this is the introduction of the poem. In the poem, The Road Not Taken, the road symbolizes our life. It is about making choice in our life. The poet says that path we don't choose in our life is road not taken. He describes his feeling about the choice that he had left in the past. Whichever path or choice we will choose decides our future, our destination. The important message that the poet wants to give is that choice that we make has an impact on our future and if we make a wrong choice, we regret it but cannot go back on it. So we must be wise while making choice in our So now I'll explain each stanza to you. So the first one is two roads diverge in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both so in this stanza the poet says that once the poet was walking down a road and then there was a diversion eh? he saw that the road he was working was diverged into two different directions there were two different paths and he had to choose one out of them the poet says that as he was one person he could travel on one road only so now he had to choose one out of these two roads, okay? So uh, it is a yellow wood means a forest with leaves. Uh, it symbolizes the season of autumn where uh, when all the leaves of the trees were turned yellow, okay? I have uh, included this in the glossary. You can refer to that. So you can see the roads, okay? Diverge into diverge roads. Now, 
and be one traveler long as stood and look down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Now the poet says that as he was one person, as he was one person, he could travel on one road only. He had to choose one out of these two roads. So the poet kept standing there and looked at the path very carefully as far as he could see it. Before taking the path, he wanted to know how it was. Was it suitable for him or no? He was able to see path till from where it curved after which it was covered with trees and was hidden. So now, my dear student, it, the poet wants to say that it happens in our life also. Okay, when we have choice, when we have alternatives, then we shouldn't be in hurry. Okay, we, we should take time and we have to choose only one out of them. So we should take time to think about it and think about whether it is suitable for us. Okay, whether it is good for us or not. Or, and only then we should make a decision. We take a decision on what path we should choose. So now in the second stanza it says, And having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same. So now the poet kept on looking on one path for a long time to check if it is right path for him or not and then he decided and started walking on another path because the poet felt that the both paths were equally good. So he says just as fair so he felt that both paths were equally good and started walking on one of them. So he adds that maybe he felt that the path was better for him. So he chooses it as it had grass on it, which means that was unused. Not many people had, had walked on his path earlier. That is why uh, this path was grassy. So wanted wear means that it was not walked over by many people. So after he walked on the path for some distance, he realized that both the paths had been worn out the same way. Both paths were similar and even in our life. The poet here give you a message that even in our life, we take any path or options, but all of them have the same. Some benefits, disadvantages, problems and challenges and we must face them. Okay, so here you can see the poet has chosen a path which was less traveled by the people because which was unused, unused. So here he, what Robert Frost wants to say is he always wanted to uh, face the challenges, okay, difficulties. So now that's why he chose the path which was less to use so even in our life we take any path or options but all of them have some benefits disadvantages problems and challenges and we must face them eh? we think that we are choosing a better option but it but it is not that way okay everything comes with the, so many challenges and problems okay and we must make ourselves so strong that we should Face it. And then in the third stanza it says, And both that morning equally lay in lay snow, Steve had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how we leads unto way, I doubted if I should ever come back. So now finally the you know the poet says that um, the both the paths were similar that morning. Both had leaves on them. Okay. And no one had stepped on them as they were still green in color. So he decided that uh, he would take one path and keep the other for another day. Although he knew that one way leads on to another way. He knew that he could not go back on the choice that he had made. Similarly, you know, the poet wants to say that even in our life, 
once we choose an option once we make and make a choice we must keep on moving ahead okay with that options and we never get a chance to come back so it is better that before making any choice and decisions in our life we must take time and we must think okay and then we should make our choice very wisely fourth stanza that is the or the last stanza i shall be telling this with a shy somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverge in a wood and i i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the differences so in the last stanza the poet says that in the future he will take a deep breath breath and says that once upon a time he had reached such a point in life that there were two options for him and he travel on that road which had been travel upon by lesser number of people and that decision of his decided his future similarly in future when you all grow up then you will say that once upon a time when you were young you had two options the choice that you made made you what you became of it so this is a very strong message for all the student that you all should be very wise and careful while making any choice or out of the options that you have in your life because our future depends on the choice that you make today so now let's see the short summary of the poem the poet says that once he was walking down the road and reached a fork okay where the roads were diverged into two different directions so he could walk over one of the paths only so he took time to choose the right path he inspected them okay to decide which was a better option and then choose the one which seems less walked over so he kept uh, the other one for some other day although he knew that he would never get a chance to walk over it he would go further on the chosen path and not get a chance to go back on it as he walked on the chosen path he realized that the path were similar he felt that his future depended on the choice that he made so now the theme of the poem the main theme of the road not taken is that life is full of choice and will define our destinies the speaker spends a while deliberating when he comes to a fork in the road which symbolizes the choice he must make in his life ultimately he has to make some decision but he will spend the rest of his life hunted by or simply curious about what could happen if choose the other path the choice that he made has made all the differences in his life so i have also you know made this glossary you please go through it read the poem once again and refer to this glossary and try to understand it thank you